Hello mortals. Today I'm gonna be analyzing another terrible human game, played between the very famous, Mikhail Tal, and, Andres Vuermar, an Estonian grandmaster who is most famous for losing this game. This is a very famous game because of its brilliancy, I love refuting humans brilliancy, and it was played in 1971, in Tolon, the capital of Estonia, for the sixth round of the Tolon tournament. Game starts with, e4, c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, e6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight to c6, the Tamanov variation, knight to c3, queen to c7. Aha! This move is inviting black to trade three pieces for the queen with knight from d to b5 attacking the queen, will Tal go for it? No. The lion could have been, knight from d to b5, attacking the queen, queen has to move to b8, bishop to e3, a6, bishop to b6, a, takes b5, knight takes b5. The threat is to play knight to c7 check, the only good way to stop this, is to play, bishop to b4 check, c3, bishop to a5, knight to c7 check, and after queen takes c7, bishop takes c7 and bishop takes c7. Black is down a pawn but has three pieces for the queen and is much better, however, white wins this position much more than black does for unknown reasons. But white played, bishop to e3, a6, stopping knight to b5, bishop to d3, knight to f6, short castle, bishop to d6, developing the bishop with tempo, smart human, or not. Bishop to d6 is a little bit suspicious because after f4, white is threatening e5, winning a piece, so the best move would be bishop to c5, moving the bishop again. King to h1, humans are always afraid of pushing their king's pawns. Of course black can't take this pawn on h2 because after g3, the bishop would be trapped. h5? Did I say humans are afraid of pushing their king side pawns? Now, knight takes c6 followed by f4 is crushing for white, will he find it? Of course not. He plays f4 first, but if knight takes c6, b takes c6, f4, e5, queen to e2, e takes f4, White now has e5, only move, with a fork on the bishop and the knight, bishop takes e5, bishop takes f4, d6, defending the bishop. Rook from a to e1, bishop to e6, and after bishop takes e5, d takes e5, queen takes e5, queen takes e5, and rook takes e5. White has more active pieces and a superior pawn structure, and is much better. Knight to g4, queen to f3, defending the bishop, knight takes the bishop, queen takes the knight, queen to b6. Attacking the knight and the pawn on b2. Not a very good move. Since black played h5 for no reason, he could have played h4, best move. Knight from c to e2, defending the knight. Now there is a pawn hanging on b2, would you take it? I know you would. But if queen takes b2, just knight takes c6, b takes c6, e5, bishop to c7, and after rook from a to b1 and queen to a3, f5 is coming, opening up the position, and black pieces are horrible. But he plays e5, attacking the knight, which is equally bad. Allowing f takes e5, and opening the file for the rook for no reason isn't a really good idea. But white plays queen to b3, attacking the pawn on g7. Very aggressive, sacrificing his knight. Even though it's not the best move, I like his style. Black now plays, e takes d4, another bad move, because now white plays, queen takes g7, attacking the rook, rook to f8, and now white can push the e pawn. That's why, knight takes d4 was much better. Bishop to e7, f5, f6, 
not allowing f6 for white, and white plays knight to f4, sacrificing the e-pawn. Rook to f7? Question mark, question mark. Black is now completely lost. Black should have accepted the pawn and played, knight takes e5, queen takes e7 check, free queen. Of course not human, king takes e7, knight to d5 check, forking the queen and the king, king to d6, and after, knight takes b6 and rook to b8. Black position is a little bit cramped, but there is still hope for black. Now, the problem with rook to f7 is that, e takes f6 was played, and the rook can't capture the lady, because after, rook takes queen, pawn takes rook, threatening to promote the pawn, king to f7, attacking the pawn, f6, defending, bishop takes f6, knight takes h5, with a double attack on the bishop. The pawn is promoting, the bishop is hanging, bishop to h7 is coming, therefore, there is nothing black can do. Black didn't capture the queen and played, knight to e5, followed by, bishop to c4? Did I say black was completely lost? Humans are so unpredictable. White should have played, queen to h8 check, followed by, bishop to f8, rook from a to e1, pinning the knight, d6, bishop to c4, attacking the rook, queen to c7, bishop takes f7 check, queen takes f7, knight to g6, and the threat to play, rook takes c5 is unstoppable, so let's say black plays, b5, just, rook takes e5 check, d takes e5, knight takes e5, attacking the queen, queen to d5, f7 check, and after knight to g6 check, with a fork on the king and the bishop. White will regain the peace, the king will have no shelter, so there is infinite ways of winning this position. None of this happened and black played, knight takes c4, queen to g8 check, bishop to f8, knight takes h5, knight to d6, rook from a to e1 check, king to d1, rook to e7. Good move by this mortal. If rook takes e7, just f takes e7 check. King can't take the pawn because that would be mate, thus after king to c7, the pawn would promote. Queen to b5 was played, attacking the rook, rook from f to e1, now black has one move to try to save the position, which is the obvious, queen to a5, will he find it? Of course not. The line would be queen to a5, attacking the rook, followed by c3, interfering, queen takes a2, c takes d4, king to c7, run king, run, queen to g3, pinning the knight, b6, giving room for the king, and after, rook to c1 check, king to b7, queen takes d6 and a5. White is better, but black is up a piece and there is still hope. Queen to d5 was played, followed by knight to f4, attacking the queen, queen takes a2, knight to e6 check. Wow! This is the only move that wins on the spot, another piece sacrifice. Queen takes e6 was played, but if, d takes e6, then, rook takes f7, knight takes f7, queen takes f8 check, king to c7, queen takes f7 check. And after king to b6 and queen to g8, the f pawn would be unstoppable. Back to the game, after f takes e6, rook takes f6, and rook to f7, black resigned. White's threat is to play e6 and the best move now would be to run with the king to c7, but then black would lose a lot of material so there is no point in playing this position. If you enjoy this video, consider checkmating the like and subscribe button, for any suggestions, just put it in the comments and I will do it. Or not. See you soon. Or not.